been told by the government that their industry isn't viable, go and do something else. Over two weeks, the riders will travel more than a thousand miles, visiting over a hundred venues, and this morning stopped at Resorts World Arena at the NEC, which hasn't had a single show since March the 12th. There is no prospect of us doing any business this side of Christmas. Most of the shows in the first quarter of next year are already rescheduling to the back end of next year. I think it will be at least the second half of next year before we see events in Resorts World Arena. Most people working in the industry are freelancers and with no sign of venues being able to fully reopen till well into next year, many may have no choice but to leave. There will be people lost. I mean, there will be businesses who, who cannot go on and, and there's, there is just no support at the moment um, in, in the right way for, for these industries to carry on. A multi-billion pound industry brought to its knees by Covid. These riders are just hoping the venues they're visiting will still be there when live events return. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands, today. Dogs of all shapes and sizes had the chance to make a big splash at Cheltenham's Lido this weekend. The annual doggy swim marked the end of the season at Sanford Parks, which has struggled all summer because of restrictions imposed by the coronavirus. Local people have asked for the pool to reopen for winter swimming sessions. Football now and a reminder that Aston Villa's game at Bristol City in the Women's Super League was postponed because Villa's players are isolating after one of them tested positive for coronavirus. Birmingham City picked up their first points of the season with a 1-0 win at Reading. Well, let's have a look at the weather forecast now for the next few days with Rich Davis. Hello, good evening. It's been a pretty decent day today, but it looks like that's set to change as we start the new week on Monday. Overnight, it's staying largely dry and quite cloudy as we make our way through to the early hours of tomorrow morning. It could just be the odd spell of rain drifting in before it all arrives through tomorrow and temperatures overnight down to five or six degrees Celsius. So a chilly start to tomorrow morning, cloudy to begin with. And then eventually, as we make our way through the morning and into the afternoon, you can see that band of rain just pushing in. So some heavy outbreaks of rain through tomorrow afternoon. Still going to be feeling fairly cool and a little bit breezy too as we see temperatures rise up to 11 or 12 degrees Celsius. Well that's it uh, from us for now. I'll be back with a late bulletin which follows the 10 o'clock news. We hope you can join us then. But for now, bye.